Hello, and welcome everyone to episode number 26 of Free to Play Domain. The idea of the series is simple. If you don't know it yet, feel free to check out earlier episodes and maybe start from the beginning. I've been building up this account. I'm at 1531 total level and I have about a 36 mil bank at the moment. I just recently got another bond, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, what I've been working on is just rounding out all of the stats, the main ones of note are farming and uh, runecrafting that I'm gonna have to do a little bit more. But on the side, during this exam week, I am going to AFK some stuff and uh, the, the, you know, I may not be able to necessarily focus on something in particular at any time. It could be a bit random, but it's kind of the nature of the week right now. Um, 65 wood cutting done there. I'm going to move on a little bit. I like rounding out the stats if I don't have anything in particular that I'm going for at the time. But I do know that I'm going to have to get up a decent amount of levels for diaries eventually. And uh, the bank value currently is 34.5 mil, not 36. I lied. Uh, my bad. So I just bought some broad bolts. I'm gonna go do my skeletal wyverns task while I do a little AFK. Uh, one thing though, you know, I like to throw out tips whenever possible. I won't be utilizing this one right now, but it's something you can if you wish. And that is that broad bolts are actually profitable to make. So if we look here, I just bought a bunch of them for 62 GP. This is this is normal. I mean, typically they're worth a little bit more. You'll make some money, but not a lot. Even if you just get XP, it's definitely worth it. So see here, I just bought that for 59 and I sold it for 58. So I, I guess ultimately you probably break even depending on the times that you buy them. And yeah, I mean, right now it is no profit unless you slow bought the uh, broad bolts and you make a GP per one, which isn't a ton, but it's something. So you have to unlock the ability through Slayer to be able to fletch them. I have not done that, but <laughs> let's forget that. If you did unlock it, which it does cost some points to do, you can basically, every set of them, which is 10 of them, you get 30 XP, so it's three XP per bolt that you do, and it's just as quick as darts to do. Now, obviously the XP is nowhere near darts, but the cost isn't either. So, low level form of that if you guys wanna give it a try, just a thought. All right, so uh, it looks like Slayer is what I've decided is gonna be my AFK skill of choice while I do some studying during this week, but uh, 85 strength coming in. I, I, at this point, I kind of feel like getting up my attack, but also in the back of my mind, I really like to get up my strength, so then I'm just better at PKing people, because right now, I mean, the, you know, the lower combat I am with the higher strength, the better I am at PKing. Now, obviously my account isn't there yet, and I'm, I'm not gonna really PK right now, but long term, uh, that's kind of why I'm keeping my attack and defense at 75. I, I could get my attack higher up, but I'm not really sure. I think for most of this video, I'll probably just go with strength. I'd recommend at this point that most people probably switch to attack till about 80 and then go strength to 90, attack to 85. Just kind of keep them within five to 10 levels of each other typically. But for me, I'm just gonna keep power on with strength. For you guys, it has been no time at all, but for me, it has been a hot second since I have recorded. So you got, I mean, you know, I could use you guys as my therapist, but ultimately, just got through a pretty hefty exam week, and uh, <laughs> I was dying. Couple days, not great. So uh, didn't play much. A lot of lot of studying, not fun. But uh, off to spring break now, so <laughs> progress should continue. I, that's why videos have been uh, a little slower lately. You know, gotta gotta pull back the reins a little bit. But uh, now we're full force. So 161 Aber inspectors. I'm definitely oh wow. What this update is? That's very nice. That is very nice. Oh my. So also th another reason I was recording that clip is because I did hit my 50th task and I get 753 Slayer points, which actually is really really good for what we're going to do right now. 753, we're gonna buy an herb sack. And uh, now I don't have any points to cancel my next task. So if it is terrible, I'll be very sad, but feels worth it. The herb sack is very useful in my opinion and one of the better Slayer unlocks that you can get as you can just store a lot of herbs on a Slayer task like Aber Inspectors. Buying that herb sack really cost me. I had to go and do a uh, blue dragon task, which I ended up killing the babies. Uh, you know, I, I wasn't going to do an actual task. That that, that takes forever. Uh, however, uh, we, we do have another Aber Inspector's task. So I guess, you know, coming back in with the herb pouch. So I emptied out my herb sack. There's really no way for me to show all the inventories I had that would be entertaining. So uh, basically, I usually would leave there with about 10 Ranars. This time I left with about 210k worth of loot instead of like 80. So 
another 130, 140K a task. I could obviously, uh, you know, I could bank everything if I wanted to, but then I'd have to bank during the task, which is something I don't want to do, and what this herb sack allows me to do. So, gonna get moving though. Closing in on both 86 strength and 75 slayer real soon. Playing two accounts, uh, just turn the game sounds down. Last video, I actually had like a minute and a half where there was uh, game sounds that were just overlapped with the audio. Managed to avoid that this time, I think, so far. But I did not catch the two levels on video. I, you know, I told you guys I was getting them. Ultimately, 75 Slayer does get us Gargoyles unlocked, which is a sick money-making Slayer monster. Also will unlock me the Grotesque Guardian boss that I probably won't do too much of. I may try it out, but done with the Dagonoth's task. I can I can feel a good one coming, you know? Oh, okay. No, no, I, li I lied. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's That's what I meant. Some more KBD. After this task, I'll have 76 KBD all done through Slayer. It's nice to start getting it up. Still have Winter Todd as my highest total. It's a little embarrassing, so hopefully I'll pass that soon. So here we go. 89 range coming in. I just had a superior like a hot second ago. I was hoping to get a nice drop, then come in with the level, you know, would have been would have been real nice. But instead, 500 k away from 90 range. That is that's a lot. But luckily, sometime in the future, I'm sure I'll get another revs urge. So. It's only a matter of time really, isn't it? Doing some Wilderness Slayer right now, I just completed my first task here in a while because I'm really low on points and I'm almost 50 tasks in a row, so I'll get a good boost there. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna do a couple here so I can kinda get some stuff I can cancel. That is not the best. Uh, I can't do KBD, I don't think, sadly. So uh, it's just regular Black Dragons is fine. 50 Slayer tasks done in the Wilderness. <laughs> That's way more points than I expected. Um, 375 brings me up to 416. There may be a couple unlocks I actually want to do in regards to extending task a little bit. I'm, I probably will do some more Wilderness Slayer in the future, and as you can tell right now, I am lagging a ton. Gonna try and hop worlds here in a second, but Wilderness Slayer honestly isn't bad. I'm probably gonna do it a little bit more once I get a crossbow back within my possession, but for now I'm gonna go back to Neve now that I have all of the points that I need. So this is me from the future. My audio for these recordings was messed up for a little bit, so we'll just knock them out. Uh, basically, I started back up my birdhouse runs, got a nice little hunter level coming in there. We'll get those occasionally, I am sure. Uh, then went on to go do the last little bit of Slayer that I wanted to do for this video. Killed some Hellhounds, got 87 strength, and then on a Black Demon's task, I got 76 Slayer as well. Uh, obviously a long grind there. Slayer's not really something I can bang out all too quickly, but in due time. And then from there, I had a lot of hard clues that I decided I would go finish up. Uh, one before Scatizo that actually got me an Armadillo page 3, 328k, nice little profit there. Then went on to Scatizo where I got nothing from the drop, but another hard clue that surprisingly enough again uh, a decent hard clue reward in a little over 350k with the guthix chaps on that one uh then i got a hellhounds task that i didn't really show much of other than two clue scrolls that i got on the task the first one being absolutely awful and the second one being more of your standard hard clue before heading back to the rev caves i think i just came up with a pro tip just kind of hanging out here by necessity uh, i was kind of low on charges this trip and I was down to 80, and then I realized that I could just crush my bracelets of Ethereum, turn them into Ether, then charge my bow that way. So it's a good tip if you're running low on Ether, but also I think then I can carry about 200 to 300 less Ether on me whenever I come out here, because usually I come out with like 1500. Instead, I'll probably come out with like 1200, and then whenever I get bracelets, I'll just throw them into my crossbow. And I guess that'll save me like almost 40 to 50K every time I die, so something. It's something. TB are logged in. Very scared. Uh, this time, I was trying to go... Well, I actually did consume all of my prayer potions. I did not get to use all of the prayer points I had left, though. I was trying to stay for a whole trip to see what I could do. And, uh, yeah, again, this time, another D-plate skirt, so maybe not all that uncommon. And, oh my god, over a mil. Jesus, man. Three prayer potions out here. The, the crossbow is absolutely insane. Right now I'm only 89 range and I don't have rigor either. Rigor is very expensive, which I, I guess is something I'm going to build towards eventually. I mean, you could say that I'm building towards it now in a way, because at some point I will buy it, but just allows me to tear it up here with, you know, good stats, but not insane stats by any means. First time selling off my loot tab. I have to sell it now because I am out of ether. I, I probably used about 5,000 maybe uh, in between death 
that's an actual like just use through the bow uh but that's 3.6 mil so not bad we probably spent about 800 i mean the, the revs do come with a significant cost especially with the deaths probably not what you expected but what you will get is another hunter level up to 56 nothing much unlocked there however i have started to keep another tab for my bird's nest uh this time probably won't have to tap into them too much i think i'm pretty good on cash for a while so gonna stack them up while i do this on the side gonna try to do it every time i die at revs maybe that seemed like a good uh good way to get it in on the rotation i just watched a dude get an ancient relic 16 mil off a pyre fiend over here uh, very nice. A little jealous, you know, I've been camping this area. Maybe that could have been my Pyre Fiend. Before anyone says anything, I'm pretty sure that the drops are rolled off of a player base. I don't think that bosses spawn with an item drop. It's rolled dependent of player, I believe, but could be wrong. So here we are. This is the end of the video where I throw my armor on into the bank and find out that I have 40.6 mil in total wealth. In addition to that, I also have another eight days of membership. I've calculated and I've spent about 20 to 25 mil on membership so far in this account. So, you know, if I didn't have to do that, I could have a lot more money, but the more money you have, the easier it is to make money, and then I don't have to worry about bonds ever again. So that's the plan. Next video, I'm definitely gonna work on improving the bank. If you guys wanna see what I'm doing in regards to next video, I will be streaming as soon as this video goes live for a few hours, I make no promises. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Anything you wanna tell me, leave it down below in a comment. If you wanna see more as soon as it goes live, make sure to hit that subscribe. And with that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. End up. Mm -hmm.